All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another live New York session. It is uh, Thursday, April 20th, 2023. So before we get started, let's go ahead and check the news here. And as we can see, we had some news at 8.30, so that happened 30 minutes ago. So we're in the clear on that. And um, we can see that Really at 8.30, price didn't really fall for me. Oh, yeah, price probably didn't really make a, a lot of moves, but yep, so we're done with that. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we want to do is post our rules here. G code analysis rules. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the cheat code indicator. <clears throat> and uh, we can kind of see that on the one hour, uh, price is kind of sticking out this Bollinger band. So that might be possibly a sign of a reversal coming, maybe. Uh, but we're going to have to really check the trend and, and do our confirmation analysis to figure out if that's the case. Uh, we don't have um, uh, a cheat code buy or sell. So that's that's one thing. So, but um, so we're probably not necessarily ready yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and figure out what the overall trend is. And so we can see that previous lows have been broken here. Um, even right here, price went down, but it didn't look like price is starting to go well. <clears throat> but more likely, price is probably overall bearish. But currently, it might be a different trend. So let's go to the smaller time frames and figure out what we're working with here. So when we look at price here, uh, we can clearly see uh, that previous highs have been broken, okay? High here, high here. So price is currently bullish, okay? And we're gonna put a trend line here. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at is we're going to look at the most recent uh, break of structure, um, which I see the break of structure here. And it came from this swing low here. Price pulled back where the swing low went on. And then at this width, we have a swing high. Okay. So, Um, this is the swing low for the structure and then swing high. And that's what we see here, all right? Now, we're going to take our Fibonacci, we're going to go from the most recent low to the most recent high. And so, Right where the break of structure line is, this is where our 50% line is at. So I'm expecting price to really come down into this area and then start to push up. Um, that's what I'm actually looking at. So um, so then I'm gonna actually draw the zone up here because I'm looking for price to actually come down into this area we test it and then go up right back this high. That's what I'm really looking at. And the reason why is because previous highs were broken. So I look at that as price being bullish like it means. Um, so the very next thing we're gonna I'm gonna do is 
will drop uh, put my risk to reward tool down here. And I'm looking for price to maybe reach up to here. Uh, um, so if price comes up from here, it was how much points in gold that I want to try to get on the first TP. And then the TP1. TP one, um, seven hundred plus points. That's what we want to do. Um, let me see. And then up to here is kind of good. So now, um, that's what I'm looking for, looking for price to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set my alerts and then we're just gonna wait and see what price does. And the we start setting the market at the moment, be right back. I'm gonna start setting my alerts here. Um, this next candle did close above the H and A. This might be a clear buy. But I'm going to wait to the 930 candle, you know, for sure. But technically, this thing did close above the, the, uh, the HMA, but it kind of hit this area. So, price might actually come down and um, maybe test this area, maybe come down and then go up. So, we'll see. Looking for price to uh, come bullish. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with everything I do. Okay. We'll see if we get this. One. We'll see if we get this one. Uh, so, wait for the uh, ninth, wait for the ninth, for the ninth, for the chemical, the ninth, for the right back. All right, so now the 915 candle has closed. Um, <clears throat> so, we have another 15 minutes before we're going to the of the market. Another thing I'm going to do to let me turn off the auto say. I'm going to try something. Here. The movie has become down in this day instead. I want to make some adjustments and I'm going to actually put let uh, swing along down here do this for instructions there. I'm thinking that price is probably going to be a counter to the sale. Can I go down and get a little bit of a 
and that's a good idea to push that measurement to the top of that machine. So I'm going to put the 69. I'm going to walk through my bones on this stick. Let's try it. Let's see. And we'll see by the time, you know, 37 and you might come down and see a little bit of push out. That's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> so I'm going to actually just do that. It's going to auto save. There you go. All right. So, <clears throat> um, so we'll wait for the 930 candle to close and then we'll see exactly what price decides to do. Once we get a real, real clear direction, then we'll jump in and uh, try to make some money. So stay tuned. All right, so the 930 candle is about to close. Officially, that means it's probably closing the market. Now, this next candle did kind of close below the HMA, but it hasn't turned red yet. So. I will wait for a valid entry and then do that. So, what we're going to do is just look at price action and really pay attention to what the market is doing before we decide to move on in. And we'll do this here. We'll see what happens. I went out here and initiated my buy. Because uh, I believe that price is resting up in this previous structure. So we'll see how it goes if I uh, end up winning this trade here. Uh, I was doing this recording. You like that. All right, so price ended up buying up. So I ended up getting a lot of points. So it put me back into the green because I had a lot of drawdown and losses for the last couple of days. So let me go ahead and share my results. Just give me a, give me a second here. Head on. So as you can see, um, the profit was uh, $89. I got in too early. Previous trading at 60, maybe $16. So, what that did was um, overall put me back into the green of what I originally started. So, 47 cents. Uh, not doing good on this strategy, but I'm going to continue to improve on it. But I decided to still record this because. My analysis was points. It was right on point. Price hit this area and shot straight out. So I will do a back testing session on this. There was 855 points. So we did decent. So that's it for this um, back testing session. And so, yeah, see you guys uh, later.